Yo, 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 what's up everybody? What's up to my killers and drug dealers? I'm lying, stay in school, do not sell drugs. But if you a motherfucking NBA addict, put your hands up. Alright, put them down now because we got some real shit to discuss. Alright, so I'm pretty sure y'all saw my Instagram post and even if you did not, you saw the interview. James Harden and Giannis, it's game time, baby. Alright, so this is where all the tension started. Oh, this is what we thought. But don't worry, I me addict about to break it down for you. Can't buy Trey Young. Wait, you don't, but want, I gotta the, go. you don't want the dribbler? <laughs> I want somebody that's going to pass the ball. That's what I want. <laughs> Alright, so when I first saw this, I was like, maybe it's a joke. You know, a lighthearted joke to James. But now, nah, over here at NBA Addict TV, we had to dig a little deeper, you feel me? So that's what I tried to do. Uh, first, we were just trying to, you know, find whoever, uh, you know, James Harden was guarding. You know, that's who, who we thought uh, we were going to have the opportunity to score on. And obviously, you cannot, you cannot go wrong. You're smoking crack. Stop. All right, so that went from jokes to smoke real quick. Like, Giannis really want all the smoke with Harden. No cap. Alright, now we're about to see what Harden have to say after those shots was fired, clearly. Barkley, when they had the All-Star Draft, was saying, oh, no one wants to take James Harden, he's a dribbler. Giannis Antetokounmpo makes a joke on the air about, uh, I want to take someone who can pass. I'm taking Kemba Walker instead of James Harden. I was more assist than him, I think. You ranked 10th in assists going into the All-Star break, and Kemba ranked 36th in assists going into the All-Star break. So I, don't see, I, don't, I don't see what the joke is, but I, don't even, I, I didn't even see it. You know, I, don't, I don't pay attention to stuff like that. Uh, I just know none of them can mess with me. <laughs> well, Daryl Morey, your general manager, had a great line to kind of address all of that. He said, being different doesn't really get appreciated until it works. Yeah, or when I'm done. Uh, you know, when it's, when it's all said and done, um, you know, they'll appreciate it more. You know, but I wish I could just run, run and with seven feet and run and just dunk. Like, that takes no skill at all. <laughs> I got to actually learn how to play basketball, how to have skill, you know? I'll take that any day. Do you think that in the end, a title is going to give you the respect that you think yeah, you deserve? I mean, it is, and I will get it. You feel confident about that? Yes. Very. All right, so here, I want to know what you guys think. Please comment down below. Because here, I'm kind of leaning on Harden's side. He's not wrong. Harden and Giannis are both MVPs. But Harden has, has, I like Harden's resume in the playoffs way more. Because the only reason he has not been to the finals for a second time, yes, I said a second time, don't forget the OKC days, is because he's ran into the Golden State Warriors every single time. I really don't even care that Kevin Durant went down last year. That, that squad is still historic. Honestly, Kawhi Leonard may not have even gotten a ring if Klay Thompson did not go down in that game six, man. He was hot. Okay, so the clip that you just saw is from 2014. This is when the beef actually started. You can see this before Giannis actually got his weight up. Now he's all muscled up and jacked up, but he think he could talk that hot shit. Listen, listen, I know what you think right now. Yo, NBA, why you a hater? Why you why you talking down on Giannis' name? Listen, bro, I'm the biggest Giannis fan, bro. I love watching this man. Yo, he different. Like, this is the closest thing to Shaq that our generation will ever see except except Zion Zion is built different yo he bully nigga like that and everything but that's a different story but I, I love Giannis's game but you just can't disrespect people for no reason for like a little altercation that happened six years ago come on my G all right so this clip you are about to see is from last year in January this is where Giannis threw all the respect that he had for James Harden out the motherfucking window. Unintentional, of course. He did it on purpose. Stop lying. <laughs> Man, after that one, they got to check harder for CTE. <laughs> Call 911. be real man i stay out of drama myself but god damn i love me some nba drama nigga i'm like a crackhead when it comes to that shit but to be real bro i think this is setting up for a per per uh, I don't know, perfect can i speak perfect finals between the bucks and rockets I, I think they both can make it 
and that would be a hell of a story. All right, so with that being said, this is NBA Addict TV. We broke down how this beef started, as I promised. And um, have a great day, boys. We out of here. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this motherfucker with all your friends.